I'm happy to be contributing to the talks on the second high level uh, deliberations on plant genetic resources on food and agriculture. Uh, the whole world these days is talking about food security. Uh, this is necessary because of the rapidly increasing food prices all over the world. I want to use Ghana's example on, uh, to prove the wisdom of the treaty, um, which I believe must be worked on uh, so the whole world would subscribe to its objectives and uh, aims for humanity. We learned that plant variety, crop variety, has diminished over the past 100 years by as much as 75%. And uh, it looks like all humanity is being pressed to depend on very few crops. Unfortunately, population is also increasing by leaps and bounds. And uh, within the next decade or so, the world population might rise as much as uh, 9 billion. Um, in 2001, I was privileged to assume office in Ghana as president. That time, um, the agriculture of the country was stagnant. Uh, cocoa, which has been the lifeblood of the country for over 100 years, uh, had come under threat. Uh, the produce that year was only 350,000 tons, and the farmers seemed to be losing interest in looking after their farms. So government decided to use well-thought-out advice uh, to formulate a policy to empower the farmer to do far better than it was doing. So we adopted one, uh, the measure of spraying all the cocoa farms at the expense of the state for the farmer. Government also used ex extension advice to give improved seedlings to the farmers. Further, government subsidized in the supply of uh, uh, fertilizers to the farmers. But perhaps most importantly, government decided that the international market price, which was shared before that time uh, in the ratio of uh, 65 to the state, 30, uh, 35 to the farmer, should be reversed uh, to give 65% to the farmer and the state to take 35%. The combination of these uh, measures proved dramatic. Within a period of just three years, the produce of the farm jumped from 350,000 tons a year to over 700,000 tons a year. And as I speak with you now, produce has topped over 1 million tons. And this is all-time record uh, in the history of cocoa production uh, over the past 100 years. And as you know, cocoa is a monocrop in Ghana. Because of this dramatic improvement uh, in the situation of the farmer, uh, there has been a knock-on effect on other produce like cereals, maize, sorghum, and uh, soya uh, in the farming sector. And Ghana, over the past decade, hasn't suffered the threatened famine that uh, raged in many of the developing parts of the world. I believe uh, the purpose of the treaty you are engaged in reviewing is what, in a way, uh, has been uh, exemplified in the situation of Ghana. And it is critical that uh, the whole world uh, subscribes to the, the, the purpose and concept of the international treaty. And I believe uh, the essence of policy that has uh, conduced to this uh, healthy situation, and which indeed has contributed to lifting Ghana up from uh, third world status to middle income status over this short period, 
is the essence of what the treaty is seeking to do. And this is why I would recommend that all the third world countries or the developing world should accept critically uh, to work uh, to realize the objectives of the treaty. I wish you well, great success. I wish I were there with you personally uh, to learn of the new approaches in uh, promoting the objectives of the treaty. Uh, unfortunately, I, w I haven't been able to come, but I'm happy to be given this chance to contribute to the deliberations. I wish you great success for humanity. Thank you.